Hey, what's good, everybody? In the name of Jesus, your brother comes to you this morning uh, just with a an encouraging word in hopes to kind of lift you up, uh, but also just to just to remind you that if you're in us, if you're in suffering or you're in a trial or you're going through something in this time and moment, I want to read a passage of scripture in hopes to encourage you. Now, a lot of times when we hear a passage of scripture or a word through the word, a lot of times we're like, yeah, brother, that sounds amazing. And I get that, but it don't change the situations. And I get that. I understand. But it does not mean that the word is not working. Hear me. It does not mean that the word is not working. So I'm going to read the word to you. And remember, hear me, y'all. We all are believing God for some things. We all are desiring for, you know, things to change or for an increase of this or the blessing of that or a breakthrough in that. Whatever it is that you're believing God for, just understand and realize that in the time of the wait, sometimes in the delay, something is still being worked out behind the scenes that we cannot see. So walk with me here in 1 Peter 1, 6, starting. You should be exceedingly glad on this account, though now for a little while you may be distressed, you may be suffering by trials and suffer even some temptations. Now watch this. The word talks about it, y'all. Verse number seven, so that the genuineness, hear me y'all, see God is building you, he's growing you, he's empowering you, he's revealing to you the revelation to see who you are in him as his faithfulness comes through for you. Now watch this, verse number seven, so that the genuineness of your faith so that the genuineness of your faith, not the faith or the reliance upon a brother or a sister, though that's needed, not to minimize relationship and, and the community of what it is that we have that encourage you and believe in you and pour into you and they're always there for you. Yes, it's necessary and needed. Uh, verse number seven, so that the genuineness of your faith See, God is building your faith so that the genuineness of your faith may be tested. Your faith, which is infinitely more precious than the perishable gold, which is tested and purified by fire. <laughs> but brother, it feels like I'm a hey brother, but it feels like I'm pure. I'm being purified by fire, brother. This this hurts. This brother, this this is not delightful, brother. I don't like going through this, brother. I just want for this to be over. I want to get to the other side. I want for my miracle and my breakthrough to happen. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Lord. You never know when a miracle is going to happen. You never know when the spirit of God is going to move upon you. You never know when the anointing of Christ in this moment removes that burden and destroys and lifts that yoke off of your life and then in the moment that miracle comes your way in a moment that breakthrough happens in a moment that phone call comes in a moment that money is transferred in a moment that miracle comes upon your body in your heart comes upon your soul whatever it is that is vexing you whatever it is that is tormenting you shall and will be removed and destroyed off of your life in Jesus name. Give it time. Oh, but you never know when the miracle shall and will come. Here we go. <clears throat> Tested and pure by five, purified by fire. This proving of your faith is intended. Hmm. This proving Brother, we got to prove our faith, brother. <laughs> I don't like this, brother. It's pressure. 
It's hard, brother. I feel hard pressed, brother. I feel like all the weight is coming upon me. I feel squeezed and I don't like this pressure, brother. I, I don't want to go through this no more, brother. Look, brother, just lay hands on me, brother, and pray that God would just remove and get this and get this pressure and this trial out of my life. In Jesus name, so shall it be. Hallelujah. And so shall it come in the name of Jesus. This pro this proving of your faith is intended to redound, to redound to your praise and your glory and honor when Jesus Christ, the anointed, the anointed one, the Messiah is revealed. Without having seen him, you love him. Though you do not even now see him, you believe in him and exalt and thrill with inexpressible and glorious triumph, heavenly joy. At the same time, you, re you receive the result, the outcome consummation of your faith, the salvation of your souls. The prophets who prophesied of the grace, the divine blessing, which was intended for you, searched and inquired earnestly about this salvation. So I want to encourage you today, brothers and sisters, since the beginning of time, men and women of God, of God have sought the Lord, have relied upon the Lord, have gone after and desired even the salvation that you and I have been given because of the precious blood of Jesus Christ of what he did upon Calvary. And the prophets of old longed for and desired what it is that we have as a gift because it's the it's the unmerited favor of God, his grace that has been showered upon you and me. Now, I understand <laughs> that may not mean a lot to you now, especially when people are in pressure and they're going through pain and they need a miracle and they need a breakthrough and they need the hand of God to move. But what I want to say to you that today is this. Find it all joy, brothers and sisters, even in the midst of this trial, even in the midst of this going through, you never know. You never know when that tide is about to turn. You never know when that miracle in the and the Ruach of God, the breath of God begins to breathe your way. You never know when that miracle shall and or will come upon you. You never know when that door may open. You never know when that when that financial miracle or that healing in your body or that relationship being restored or whatever it is that you're believing God for. You never know when and how the hand of the Lord shall and is and is about to move. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So as this word, I get it, I understand, has gone forth. Remember this, faith within your heart. Even though sometimes your mind may be speaking to you and saying, yeah, but I get all that, brother, but I need this thing to change. I get all that, brother, but I need intervention from the Lord. Where is my help? Where is my help, brother? Where is my miracle? Where is my breakthrough? Brother, where is the way out of the situation? I don't want to be caught up. I don't want to be here entangled in this no more. I want, I want grace. I want the blessings. I want things to begin to flow. It feels as if all I do is fight. I know I'm speaking to somebody today. I want to encourage you today as your brother in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hold on just a little longer. God's word works and the spirit of the Lord is about ready to come to you and move upon you in that situation and breathe upon that thing that needs life and remove from your life the enemy that's trying to afflict you and remove from your life that thing that's trying to vex you Every spirit of infirmity that's come against you be broken and removed off your life now in Jesus' name. And that the healing power of Jesus Christ touch you from head to toe 
inside and out upon you and your family, upon your finances, in the name of Jesus. Do not become weary in your well-doing, brothers and sisters. Soon, very soon, shall you see his salvation come nigh.